search for a suspect connected to the deadly Round Rock Juneteenth Festival shooting continues. 33 year old Lindsay McNair and 54 year old Ara Duke were killed and another 14 were injured. Today, Governor Greg Abbott announced a $10,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. Williamson County Crime Stoppers and ATF are offering $5,000 each, bringing the total reward to now $20,000. Anyone with information on that shooting is urged to call Round Rock Police. Well, we've talked to several mental health providers across the area who are stepping in to help everyone impacted by the shooting. Joining us this afternoon for more guidance is Satara Ghaznavi, volunteer and peer program coordinator at NAMI. Satara, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. So, so many people in our community have been impacted by this, whether they were there or if they just know someone who was connected to the shooting. So right now, can you just talk about the lingering impact that collective trauma, as we discussed earlier, has on the community? Absolutely. Um, collective trauma is a shared psychological and emotional response to a catastrophic event. Um, shootings are definitely one of the events that can count as that. And these events can have psychological, emotional, and even physical impacts on a large scale, um, some of which may include PTSD, anxiety, grief, um, and even fear of future such happenings going on as well. So we talk about those lingering impacts. Talk about the healing process. What do people need to do to start that, that healing process? Because that can be quite difficult. Absolutely. Um, in times like this, when everything seems dark, um, healing can definitely feel out of reach, but it is definitely possible. And there are a lot of resources that can make that possible. It's important, um, especially with children involved, that parents um, first process their own emotions as oftentimes children what you say to them and how you react stays with them. So processing your own emotions, but having those discussions with them, asking about how they feel, what they think is extremely important to kind of start that healing journey. Um, and then of course, creating emergency plans, um, where they can go, who they can talk to, how they can access you during these times. Um, and additionally, seeking therapy, mental health resources, joining advocacy organizations such as NAMI Central Texas are great ways to take a bad event and hopefully create something good out of it. And looking at the path forward, we know that several organizations have really stepped up to help people who were impacted by the shooting. What other resources are there for people who are impacted? Absolutely. There are a plethora of therapy resources in the Central Texas area. Organizations, again, such as NAMI Central Texas, have advocacy and support and education programs that can really equip individuals with the tools that they need to achieve re recovery. And these tools also have uses far beyond just mental health impact. Um, Again, there are a lot of advocacy groups as well, locally and nationally, um, and using your voice can be a really great way to create change moving forward. Okay, Satara so Ghaznavi from NAMI, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon and for the insight that you've provided. Absolutely, thank you so much. First warning weather with meteorologist Nick Bannon. OK, we've been spending all day looking at the latest weather data and keeping our close eye on what is still potential tropical cyclone number one, still expected to become Tropical Storm Alberto, but probably not now until later tomorrow.